peeked into one of your classes. Uh-huh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, she can hold her on. <laughs> uh, I, I, I am going to say this humbly. Uh, I held my own in a ring a couple times. Uh -huh. More than a couple times. And sometimes outside the ring as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody so at ease with yeah. so many dirty looks on them. Because uh, it was, I mean, it wasn't just because you had guys and girls. It was yeah. because you were in the middle of the class and yeah. you were not taking no for an answer. Exactly. Exactly. And you and exactly. I can understand that you're dealing with people that are acquainted with boxing and people that aren't. And yeah. You're having a hard time, but yeah. you're still pushing. Yeah. What kind of feedback do you get from those that do not understand boxing? For me, no is not an answer. If you're coming here to learn how to box, you are not telling me I can't do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I my personality is straight up leave them. It doesn't bother me. I don't need you here. Because if you're going to come here and want to learn something, you're going to learn it and you have to take every step from the beginning to learn it. So if you don't want to, I'm not going to deal with you. It is what it is. And I tell them straight up, leave. You can leave. But they know I'm still as spicy as I am. I'm still that Sour Patch Kid. In the beginning, I'm sour. But once I start seeing that you're coming regularly, you're trying, I ease up on you. And I am very spicy in the beginning and I understand them. I am like that. But when you come in here and you feel my vibe and the energy and how hype I am at all times of the day, it makes you want to come back. And to, to like, why are you, my mindset is if I'm going in, I'm going to go fully in for anything where I'm putting all my chips on the board and that's it. So I tell people that if you're going to come in and do a half, you're not going to hang. And I don't want to even help you. Even if you give me all the money in the world, I'm not going to help you because it's not worth it to me. It doesn't matter. You're bringing it out of people. You're not just giving exactly. it. Exactly. It's like so, people, people got to understand there. If you're going to do it, do it right. If I want the best, I'm going to have the best. That is what it is. I'm going to take that from your, your mouth right there and <laughs> you got tears. <laughs> right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> We cannot put aside the fact that you being a girl and going into the gym with your brother must have uh, created a little bit of friction in the gym yeah. because I've been the girl in the yeah. gym and yeah. we got welcomed with open arms. Exactly. We already so, look like weak links as it is. Exactly. Either we get the, hey girl, yeah. oh, no, what are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. How was it that for your brother? So my brother, thankfully, and actually my other cousin, his name is Andy. He was one of the owners of the gym at the time. They already knew who I was. So I got the respect because of my brother. So when I walked in that gym, oh, it's Sean's little sister. Oh, it's Sean's little sister. His nickname was Shushu. So they're like, oh, it's Shushu's little sister. So no one, they actually all were very open and very nice to help me, which was great. But the best part about me even saying that is now everyone sees him and they're like, you're the Mid Queen's brother. Ah. <laughs> All the tables turn. <laughs> oh, I like you for a minute. You can turn the dimes. Yes. He's like, man. But he thinks it's cool. So it's great, you know? He's always like, yeah, that's my sister. That's my baby sister. And she'll kick your butt any day. But yeah, exactly. You know, she can hang. And, and how does your family, because I, I understand you have uh, a very strict background. Yes. How do they take your lifestyle? Because it's got to be different for them. To yeah. see you going into this environment, not just because it's only male dominated, but because yeah. it's rough. Exactly. It's a rough world. Yeah. Well, what's crazy is that I am Middle Eastern. I'm Chaldean. A lot of people probably don't know what that is, but it's on Wikipedia. You can see what it is. And we are <laughs> we are Catholics from Iraq. So we're already different as it is. Um, well, how I'm traditionally supposed to be is I should be married by now. I should have kids. I should be at home. You know, you feed the kids. You just, you know, you're housewife. But my parents, thankfully, they've been here for over 50 years. They've come to the States. So my dad has, and my mom has learned to be very Americanized. Till this day, my dad knows what I do, but he like doesn't understand, but he gets it. And he knows when my brother was fighting and all of that, he didn't like it. What parents wants to see their kids fight? 
he doesn't understand the sport, you know, but what's cool is people go up to my dad and they tell him and my mom and they're like, did you see your daughter? Did you see your daughter on this and this? Yeah. And so he thinks it's so cool that I do this for a living. And I always joke with him. I'm like, dad, you understand your daughter is famous, right? And he's like, ah, okay, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, it's, and it's a complete contrast when I when I hear somebody like Habib, who obviously yeah. is in the top of the game. Yeah. Perhaps, well, he'll come back. You and I know he's going to yeah. come back. Exactly. But he's he's professed not necessarily a disdain for women in in the fight world, but he yeah. says he doesn't like women in the fight world. No, yeah, which is how. You can't, I can't hate on him for it because I feel like that's all he knows. That's all that's been embedded in his head to not, he doesn't know any better. So for me, I know if, and I've had it where some guys come that don't even want to say hi to me and they're from a different, they're from a different culture because they're not understanding that I'm a female and I'm in here. They don't get it. But to me, I don't take any offense to it because I am Middle Eastern and I understand how it's supposed to be. But the thing is like, you can still respect me and say hi to me, mm -hmm. but they don't see and they don't know anything else. They don't know any better to be like, oh, it's okay for her to be here. Or it's okay for her to be holding mitts. Just because I am Middle Eastern, I understand that. So I don't take any offense to it. I can see someone else taking offense to it because they don't get it. But I grew up in this with my family, knowing that that's considered not right. But me, thankfully, my parents are very Americanized, like I said, and they get it. They grew with the time and they grew with being an American. So they are all about do, do you. If you're making money and you're working all day, you're doing something right. And you're so happy. Exactly. Exactly. Well I am. I have been called upon to do the first pay per view of uh -huh. All Women with uh, yeah. Dickery and um, Clarissa Shields, uh -huh. and I, I I am going to date myself here, but yeah. I had a chance to see like the Christy Martins and the Mia St. Johns and obviously the Leila Lees of this world, yeah. and obviously I had a chance to see Anne Wolf. Yeah. From your standpoint, um, how do you see? the role of women across the board, because now we, we don't just see them in the ring. We see them yeah. in the corners. We see uh -huh. them in the training camps, in the uh -huh. strength and conditioning, the role of women in the combat sports. How do you see that developing? I see it showing up more and more. Seeing girls in corners is getting more normal than when someone is thinking it's so weird that a female is in a corner but they need to understand we need to we understand the sport just as well as a male understands the sport so to me i literally see it as what is the difference there's no difference other than what a guy might hit on you before you're gonna hit on them like what's the difference being in the corner so i see it growing and i see it more and more and i love that but i don't look at someone's corner to be like a girl's in their corner because to me, they know just as much as you do. Just like I know I can hold just as well as you can hold. So what's the difference? But what is it? It's because we're females. But I see it growing and I see it growing in a better way because it's getting more normal for people. So the more and more people are seeing this, it's okay now. Because they're like, oh, that's normal. Yeah, girls. Now you don't need to say, oh, there's a girl in his corner. Like, what's the big deal? Why is there a girl in his corner? You know? It's a girl, what's the big deal, you know? But I do see it growing and I see it becoming more and more normal, just like when MMA first started with the girls fighting. Mm -hmm. And now look how normal it is. Yes. They can have a girls headlining on these cards. And giving us extraordinary fights. Exactly. Like total show phone. It should be normal. It shouldn't be, oh my gosh, two girls are headlining on the card. It should be, oh my gosh, she's a badass fighter. Exactly. Or look, at that hook, or look at that knockout or look at that exactly exactly